Hi, I'm Mitchell Zagliago. I live in Dubai and I'm the director of Spanish Service Schools in Dubai Sports City. Well, the, the first thing I have to say is that uh, I used to come here every single year in winter break, you know, when I used to play for Real Madrid and even afterwards when I moved to England. So I made a lot of friends in here, to be honest. And uh, when I retired, I got uh, an offer from TV, you know, to come to the Middle East and at the same time, you know, uh, they offered to be director of uh, a new uh, family academy in here in Dubai, Dubai Sports City. And obviously because I, you know, I had a lot of friends in here and uh, my, my wife and the kids, they, they love Dubai. I think the national team did really well. You know, they were able to, to win the golf, the golf Cup. This generation is doing pretty, pretty well, you know, even in the Asian Cup. So obviously, mm, football is improving, it's emerging. The only thing is uh, we need to improve the relation between uh, the expats, the best expats and the best locals. I think that's going to push football up, you know, and especially the level and obviously the competition. And that's the thing, you know, that we need in this country. That's the thing, you know, we miss a little bit right now. And obviously there's only one way, it's just putting together all the best players and pushing them. You know, they will, they will help each other to be better. Definitely, you know, I think, you know, as a kid, when you are, when you play, when you start to play, you want to be challenged by the best kids. Uh, obviously, it doesn't matter nationality. Football is not about nationalities. Football is a, a sport that obviously unites people, and you can see it in any World Cup. But at the same time, when you play football, you don't care about the nationality of the opposition. You don't care about the nationality of your teammate. It's just your teammate and your opponent. And obviously, you want to be, you want your best teammates with you, and you want your, the, the best opponents against you. And that's a real challenge. That's a good thing. In time, in kids, you know, you need to be challenged uh, if you want to improve. Obviously, if you play against, uh, you know, a low level, it's going to be very difficult for you to to improve, you know, and, and to be better. So definitely, I I think that uh, the better the competition it is, the bigger the challenge it is. I think the more uh, chances we got to develop players. What I miss the most, obviously, the, the, daily, the daily basis. What I mean is just waking up in the morning, going to the training ground, and just entering the changing room. I know that I got my teammates, you know, to spend two hours of not only training session and football, but a lot of, you know, jokes and, and you know, the daily, the daily normal, the normal thing. And then, you know, the competition. That's, that's the, the real thing. That's what I've been doing for a long time, nearly, not, not only as professional, since, since I was four years old. So I miss, I miss the real dressing room in all the, in all the things that the dressing room is bringing to me, you know, uh, uh, conversation uh, and, and obviously competition. It's not only a show, obviously it's a TV show, it's, a reality, it's called a reality TV show, of course, but the purpose is, a, is a, for us is different. What I mean is, uh, it's the third season and uh, we already go uh, kids that you know have been in the victorious, that at least they were helped, you know, to to right now do what they like, is what is which is uh, playing professional football. You know, some of them they are in Europe, uh, some of them they are in, in their countries. You know, with with another with another uh, opportunity in there. Uh, so yes, I'm the one, you know, to go for a free casting, you know, in, in different in all the different parts of the Arab world, to try to get the best kids into this show, and then in here I try to show them uh, what professional football is all about. Obviously, because one thing is, I know they play ball really well. Uh, they all are individuals, but the fo football, playing football is, playing professional football is another, another thing, very different. So for a month, two months, I, you know, I teach them. I try to, uh, to prepare them physically, ment mentally, tactically, uh, for, for, you know, to at least to have a chance. Uh, if they if they get a trial of they get uh, the chance for a contract, you know, so obviously that job is really nice. It's amazing because uh, the kids are coming from different backgrounds, different nationalities, different cultures. Everything is different for them, and most of them they go, they got the skills, they go, they got the potential, but obviously they 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 were missing or they've been missing a lot of things because of 
different situations in the countries and in the neighborhoods. So, uh, you know, I'm really, I'm really happy with, with uh, what we are doing because uh, it's the last chance that we are giving to, to kids. We are changing lives. That's what I think. To be honest with you, is uh, I'm a little bit old school. You know, it's very difficult for us, for the players in the past, how we how we understood life or how we've been understanding life. Uh, it's very difficult to get into the social media. You know, but finally, little by little, you realize that you have to vote with life. <laughs> it is what it is. It's like football. Football is changing every day, and I, I remember when I when I made my debut and. Football by then it was diff, diff, you know, different to the football that I lived in 2004-5, and it's difficult. Uh, it's different, sorry, to the football that I live right now. Not as a player right now, but as a watcher. And uh, same thing, you know, same thing happening with 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 social media. Now it's it's everywhere in our lives. With our, my kids, uh, my wife was was like me, but now she's involved. Uh, the family, the friends. Uh, the academy, the football, and obviously, you know, uh, ITP at least is helping me out to, to you know, to deal with it uh, in a in a positive way. You know, to to discover a new challenge for me, and uh, well, I'm really happy with it. But uh, still, still only school, so I need to balance this the thing. You know.